There are all sorts of watercraft here at the open air demo. You've got stand up paddle boards, you've got sea kayaks, you've got uh, creek boats, and you have the traditional canoe. And joining us is Buff Grupp from uh, Mad River Canoes. And uh, Buff, tell us a little bit about uh, you know the canoe industry. You're still making them and we people are. are still buying them. They are. Well, they're still the most versatile boat on the market. If you're looking for one boat, you know, a canoe's a viable option. And uh, so how long has Mad River been making canoes? 1971 we started on the Mad River in Wastefield, Vermont. And, uh, you know, you're still making them. They still look very similar in shape, but there's a whole lot of new technology uh, underneath uh, underneath the gunnel. Yeah, especially in your composite boats, such as these behind us here. Uh, this is basically boats made of Kevlar, which is historically people most familiar with it as a bulletproof material. Uh, it's very durable, very lightweight, um, and then it has a foam core. The purpose of the foam core is to give you stiffness and also to... Uh, basically to be able to remove some of the fabric so you can get a lighter boat, because lighter is generally better in a canoe, especially for a flat water situation like we have here. And so what are people doing when they're when they're buying a canoe like this? Where are they taking it? This is the Explorer Ultralight. So, I mean, does that name indicate what people are using yeah, it for? It does. This, this boat has been on the market, this hull shape has been on the market since 1973. Um, and it is a probably the still, probably the most versatile canoe hull shape. Now, boat made out of this material the Kevlar material is an ultralight material. The boat only weighs about 42 pounds, which makes it great for, you know, elderly people or women or something like that that have a hard time carrying weight to and from the water. That helps a lot there. It is not the kind of boat you'd want to take on a river, but we do make that same style hull in a different material called Royal X, which is very forgiving, which can take impact, get bumped and smashed and everything else and rebounds it as a memory. And uh, at uh, that kind of weight, also extra good for if you have to portage oh, across yeah, uh, right. suns from yeah. Uh, A to B. Yeah, these boats, the, you know, these two boats are, are really designed for what we call Maine to Minnesota, the Boundary Waters Canoe Area all the way up through the Adirondacks and in the north woods of Maine where you've got lots of little lakes, lots of thin streams, and you portage and carry between the two. So the boat's on your shoulders a good part of the day as well as in the water. And uh, despite, you know, all the uh, super high-tech uh, aspects of, of the hull, you still have a lot of the traditional flourishes like the, uh, you know, wicker seat and, uh, and, the, and the wood uh, wood rail in the middle. Yeah, well, Mad River's history has been basically we will embrace innovation if it's well-proven, if, if, but we're not really looking to fix what ain't broken, if you excuse the expression. So, you know, the wicker, the cane seats have a lot of advantages to them. They're lightweight. They dry very quickly. You don't sit with a wet butt you know, after you've been caught in a rainstorm, and they certainly look the right, the part. And uh, so uh, for this boat over here, it also looks like it has that same uh, that same material, but then you've got the, the wood uh, going across the top yeah. as well. Uh, Mad River is famous for its woodwork. That's native white ash out of, out of Vermont. Um, and basically it was an indigenous material to where we founded the company and so we still have a strong demand for it. It has actually a lot of functional attributes to it. Uh, we have outfitters that use the boats in the remote parts of Canada and they will not consider using a synthetic rail because if it breaks while it's in the field and they're, you know, ways away from help, they can't do much about it. Wood you can always repair. And uh, this boat, I, I see, also has some additional features, uh, an adjustable uh, seat. Well, yeah, that is a, that boat is the Expedition 176, and that's designed to take take a good load into the woods for two, three weeks, month, whatever. And basically the function of the sliding seat is to accommodate as you eat your way through your provisions. It allows you to trim the boat properly, so it's efficient. Well, that's fantastic. If people want more information on uh, every boat that's in the Mad River line, where do they go? MadRiverCanoe.com. Fantastic. Buff, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you, guys.